Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahal, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we've got three new drivers for 2021, all from Callaway. Uh, the Callaway Epic Speed, the Callaway Epic Max, and the Callaway Epic Max LS. So three new drivers for 2021. This is very exciting. Thomas, I know you've played Callaway drivers in the past, so this is probably especially exciting for you. Uh, kind of the first intro to the new Callaway driver for 2021. So uh, I want to get your feedback first, just on Callaway drivers in general. You've played them over the past few years. What do you think about them? Um, why are they so effective for you? And I guess, uh, what do you expect from 2021 models here? Yeah, I mean, going back to the first time that Callaway came out with the Epic driver, mm -hmm. I was really impressed with that. And I played the Epic, played the, um, I played all the Epic line and I'm trying to play the Maverick last year. So I, I'm very comfortable with the, with the Callaway driver. I kind of like the look of them. There's not a lot of going on. They're just very, very clean look mm -hmm. to look down at. And they're really hot off the face. With the right. jailbreak technology incorporated in there, it's just been a distance gainer for me. And it's just yeah. gave me confidence off the tee. Yeah, you mentioned jailbreak, which has been awesome for Callaway for, I think, four-ish years now. And they've actually modified that and improved it. Uh, somehow in uh, the, the epic, you know, epic speed, epic max drivers here. So uh, this is going to be fun to test out. Um, so I kind of want to get, you know, well, we'll maybe start with the epic speed, which is going to be sort of of the three, the one that maybe will fit the most golfers, I think. Um, and we'll start there and then kind of get your perspective on, uh, you know, how each club will maybe fit into different golfers. The performance will also t test with TrackMan. And uh, we'll just kind of get your feedback because, especially as someone who, again, plays Callaway drivers, your, va your feedback is very valuable here. Yeah, I'm really excited to test it. I've been kind of waiting for these to get in our mm -hmm. hands so we can kind of test them and introduce this to, as a new product line. So it's, it's fun. So it's always fun testing new stuff. So. Absolutely. Well, yeah. while, while you uh, put the first club head on um, with the Epic Speed here, I will uh, remind our viewers to you know subscribe to our channel for all of our product reviews, club comparisons. Um, any other videos we might be putting out. We try to put out a video uh, nearly every weekday now. So uh, we would appreciate if you guys subscribe, uh, leave us a comment, like the video as well. We appreciate it and we do read every single comment that we get. So um, uh, we'll have a lot more of this stuff coming out in the future and we always love putting it together. So, um, so Thomas, we've got the Epic Speed there. Um, got it all attached and uh, figured out. Now, looking down at the dress, what does that look like? Uh, give us the, the feedback there. I mean, it, it looks it looks beautiful looking down at it. I mean, it's, I love the the nice round pear shape look to it. It's fairly compact head. It just it just looks mm -hmm. really really good to look down at. It just seems very rounded, very rounded, very mm -hmm. appealing to the eye. Yeah. yeah, they've kind of gone back yeah. to that. Seems like that the sort of the epic uh, branding with the drivers. I think the epic GBB they had, and then epic yeah. flash. They've kind of got that green uh, color. Uh, scheme going on there. So they've kind of brought that back with this line of Epic drivers. So why don't we we'll maybe hit a few shots here with the Epic Speed driver. Um, that one, by the way, does not have an adjustable weight on the uh, on the sole there to kind of move the center of gravity a little bit. That's a uh, stationary center of gravity. But yep. um, we'll hit a few with that one and then we'll kind of move up into the Epic Max LS and Epic Max. Yeah, the other two do have that perimeter kind of weighting yeah. around, around there to adjust for fade or, or draw mm -hmm. bias there too. So this is this one's kind of fixed, but this is gonna fit those. But made majority of golfers there that yeah. want to hit the ball pretty straight. For sure, for sure. It's pretty deep right there off the bat. That's a pretty solid first uh, first swing there. So I mentioned the jailbreak's a little different. Uh, it's now, you know, instead of just the two internal bars that it has been, uh, with the drivers in this sort of product series, they've it's essentially, they use artificial intelligence to kind of uh, revamp jailbreak. So it's now a speed frame. Yep. Um, so it's kind of, instead of just the two bars, it kind of stretches out to f more parts of the club headers. Um, you'll maybe see on the sole, you can see kind of four, uh, you know, bits there on the sole uh, that kind of used to be where those two bars were. There's more pieces there that are stretching out. Uh, it acts the same way, but it just, covers more area of the club head and the club face. So you're just going to get more more of the uh, benefits of the jailbreak. Yeah, that first shot felt pretty pretty good. If anything, I mean, 132 feet in the air is fairly high. Now, 
This is a this is a nine degree head. Uh, we're going to be testing at nine degrees for the Epic Speed and the LS. The Epic Max. Mm -hmm. We have a ten point five degree rock drive head so far. We'll put that down to like nine and a half. Okay, so I'll be so, as close as we can yeah, get to yeah. all three compared. Yep. So I play a nine degree driver right now. My tech mm -hmm. angle has slowly kind of gone up as I've been going through like super speed training as well. So mm -hmm. my launch has gone up a little bit. Um, so I may you know may notice a fly really high, but yeah. Well, for that 2200 spin for a height, I mean, that, height just, that was pretty good. Your first swing with it, you carried it over, you know, 295 yards. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's uh, that's, that's pretty darn impressive. Yeah. A little more ball speed there. Yeah. Low spin there too. Yeah. Turn that one over a little bit. And expect mm -hmm. a little bit less spin on it. I mean, very nice. Wow. It's pretty I mean, good all right off the bat. I mean, pushing almost carrying at 300 yards. It's pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, you, I mean, I, I know how far you've, you're hitting your drivers. I know you're really increasing that carry distance with this training you're doing, but that is, you know, I have, hasn't happened very often where you've eclipsed 300 and you're getting near this with just the, your first couple of swings of this. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty impressive. I feel, I feel so solid off the face. It feels good. Another good one. Yep. Yeah, that is. That was really good swing. So the Epic Speed is does not have you know the adjustable kind of perimeter weight on the back of the club. It's where you could the you know adjust the kind of to a fade or draw bias. Yep. Um, but as you can see, you might not even need it. I mean, <laughs> it's just flying very straight for you, and it's going pretty far. I mean. There's not much else to really adjust here. Well, keep in mind, you still do have in, adjustments in, in the right. hosel setting. Yes, of So course. you still have the adjustable hosel where you can go down one degree in loft. Mm -hmm. You can go upright. You can keep the state, stated lie angle, stated loft. You can go up one or up two. So you still have that luxury with regards to changing the mm -hmm. ideal launch parameters and bias a little bit with a little more upright position. Right, right. So, I mean, that's, and that'll, that's the case with all these drivers. So, I mean, you can still make those adjustments and to loft and line stuff, but just to quickly look at these drives, I mean, you had the kind of the one that went a little left on you, kind yep. of uh, with lower spin, but these three, I mean, if let's see, if we wanted to just uh, for fun, I think that was this one. So we'll go back and uh, look at the circle now, and you can see these three are very close to each other yep. up there on the screen. Nice so. and consistent, those three shots, yeah. And the right. fairway, so mm -hmm. yeah, in the mm -hmm. fairway, which so, is. So I mean, those are all in the fairway, point. and this yep. one's probably in the fairway too, so. Yep. Um, but you're smoking all of them. The car these are carry numbers, mind you. You know, you're nearing 300 yards on these in carry. So, yeah. and if we yeah. bring up these numbers again and look at the averages, you know, it's pushing 320. Which, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> not bad, not yeah. bad. Uh, but now we can get into kind of the what should be the lowest spinning head of the three, the Epic Max LS. Okay. Um, I'm interested in this one a lot because they've kind of incorporated their really high MOI stuff into a low spin head, so this will be interesting. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so Thomas, you've got the Epic Max LS now. Um, it's yep. got that perimeter weight in the back. Um, what, you know, if you look down at this club, does it look any different? And I guess, what can you tell us about this just at first glance? Kind of has that look, kind of like a, a Sub-Zero kind of look okay. to it. Uh, it looks like the face, just maybe a, a little slightly more kind of open. Mm -hmm. I believe this okay. is supposed to be a little more fade bias yeah, club. Yeah, they do have a little bit of kind of fade bias in it, maybe a little bit of weighting, extra weighting towards the toe. Yep. Um, so that is going to promote more of a fade. Yep. Um, and there are, I mean, I know you're one that's yourself, you like to play a draw. So uh, for someone that does struggle, maybe right to left, I know you don't really struggle with it, but someone that does might, uh, maybe this would be a club that could help them out. Uh, just one of the advantages of it. Uh, but you know, that's, uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty solid performer. And I think to your point about sub zero, it's got, kind of those low spin capabilities and it's got a little bit of a, I think, deeper face as well that um, kind of makes that club look a little more compact. Yeah, it just, yeah, it just looks like it's yeah, just a little, little bit more open. You know, talking about, you're talking about kind of weight. Keep in mind, this also, also does have the mm -hmm. perimeter kind of yes. waiting around, around the back there as well. So you do have adjustability options. I'm gonna keep it all neutral as we're kind yep. of testing here as well. And the other thing too, you'll notice I was switching out the, the golf shaft. We're testing with the exact same golf shaft, all these three heads here as yeah. well, and, this, and the same kind of loft. 
Now keep in mind, the Epic Max is a 10.5 degree head we've got. I'll put that down to nine and a half, so yeah. it'll be pretty close. Right. Um, but I've got the Mitsubishi MMT 60X shaft. So this okay. is the closest one that we've got that's gonna resemble my club sure. speed. Yep. Well, Epic Max LS, let's, uh, let's see what it has, huh? Okay. That there was hit well. That is very solid. So it's interesting because it seems like, so nowadays, you know, people are chasing distance, right? They're really trying to get that club speed up. Um, and many are, I mean, I'm not saying you're doing this because um, I know you're not uh, because you're one of the best pro players in Minnesota. But there are players like maybe, I don't know, myself that are really almost trying too hard to gain distance and swing out of their tails, right? And mm -hmm that's where someone or this driver can maybe help is the high MOI packed in there. Uh, even in a low spin head, that's something I probably need because I will miss the center of the face and that's where the forgiveness of this driver can come in. So this is a very forgiving low, low spin, spin driver. Head, yeah. Like that's what Callaway went for here. And that's why you see, you know, Epic Max, like the Epic Max standard is their high forgiving, you know, what they're claiming is the highest forgiving uh, highest forgiving driver that they've ever built and then they've got the low spin option with it It doesn't seem to make you know uh, Correlate with other driver releases of the past, but if it if they put it together here, I'm very intrigued by it Yeah, me, me too. I mean that first one for sure definitely had quite significant less less spin on it You know it's the height kind of dropped out. Yeah, a little a little bit less optimal for what I'm kind of looking for if I'm, yeah. if I'm under 100 feet I'm not going to maximize my potential carry distance. Sure. You're going to see how 283 carry versus 295 with the other yeah. one, but you see the total distance. So mm -hmm. if it's dry out, this is going to be really, oh, yeah. really hot. It's going to yeah. go forever. Mm -hmm. A little but, bit more yeah. uh, controllable. But carry distance is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a really good one too. It's closer to 100 feet. Yep. Yeah, Another nice one. Kind of a, a knuckleball. You yeah. can kind of see that thing just. A spin. It really is down yeah. on a couple of those. But yeah. I mean, it's. Not, I mean, a low spin for someone that swings it kind of as fast and is able to swing up on it like you do. Yeah. Low spin's a good thing, and it will help the ball carry a little further. All right. Well, Thomas, that was four with the Epic Max LS. So we've got kind of four there with each of these models. Um, quickly looking at these numbers, you can see the spin did drop, and so did the you know the height launch angle. Everything kind of dropped with that kind of low spin, uh, more forward center of gravity yep. uh, with the Epic Max LS. Um, how'd that feel? And maybe kind of maybe touch on to like the look and feel also of like the Maverick Sub Zero that's in your bag now. Yeah, so I personally had a hard time, harder time keeping this one up in the air. Just feel like there was a couple. I think it was one that was about 80 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. Felt like it was a little bit of a knuckleball. I think there was one that was like 1,500 RPMs of spin. Mm -hmm. You can see my spin is under 2,000 there on average. So it's getting a little bit too low for me with regards to kind of spin. But it'd be a great option for a player that really spins the has a lot of speed and spins the ball mm -hmm. a lot. For sure, it'd be a great option to keep that spin rate down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's just there was a couple there that were like you know 15 or 1,600, yeah, um, which is probably a little bit low, although. The way you do swing the club, I think you can get away with it. Um, but I think you're seeing the differences, and what Callaway is going for here is that low spin, penetrating ball flight, and it did, you know, give you that compared to the Epic Speed, which, as you've pointed out, is probably going to fit the widest range of golfers, um, at least in terms of like standard settings and all of that stuff. But yeah, uh, I also want you to bring up that dispersion circle. Yeah. Now we had three white dots that were very kind of close together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had that one that I kind of pulled over there to the left. That was more kind of user. But noticed how with the yellow dots, notice how spread out they are. So they're kind of very, very wide apart versus mm -hmm. those three white dots with the uh, epic speed. Yeah. Just a tad, a little more forgiving. That's just kind of showing spin, uh, yeah. how important spin is to keep the ball kind of in, in the right optimal window, essentially. Yeah. yeah so yeah. not saying this is a bad driver. It's hot. We notice it still went further. So oh, you yeah. can see total distance. You can see there that you've got two or three there that went a little bit further with the, with mm -hmm. the, with the yellow there. I mean, do it that way. You can see how it's, it's kind of pretty similar. But you can see how you've got those white dots that are kind yeah. of fairly close. But the difference is, if you look at the numbers with regards to carry distance and total distance, is you know, we lost about four yards carry distance yep. with the uh, Epic Max LS because the ball wasn't quite staying kind of mm -hmm. in the in there kind of as much there as well. Um, it was also kind of interesting to see that my ball speed 
notice the ball speed was just a little bit less there as well. So I had a harder time, maybe not quite as forgiving as, for example, mm, that the sure. speed might kind of be there as well. But it went further. It did go half a yard further overall on average, 319.1. 318.5. I mean, they're incredible, incredible mm -hmm. numbers. I mean, right? Yeah, those are, and I know the, I know the numbers that you've come to put together testing drivers. Those are right up there with the best. Uh, so that's good to see sh for sure. And now we can kind of transition to the final model here, uh, the Epic Max, um, which Callaway says is the most forgiving driver they've ever put together. So let's hit it. All right, well, Thomas, you've got the Epic Max driver and. What does that look any different at address? Or what are you seeing? Yeah, this is the model where you start to see that weight get kind of pushed mm -hmm. back. So you can definitely tell when you put this thing down. You can see how the, the head is pushed further and further kind of back, further away from the from the front of the face, essentially. Mm -hmm. So MOI for sure. You can, you can tell that they're chasing MOI with this yeah, model. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep, that's the goal with this one. And this is the one. So this is nine and a half at rise of right now, right? Nine and a half degrees. Yep, we put this down to nine and a half. Okay. Yep. Yep. So, um, more to kind of what you'll be, uh, what you're used to playing is that nine degrees. Um, and then there is the same adjustable sort of weight track in the back of this club that there was in the Epic Max LS. Yep. So interesting that they've kind of provided that ability um, on the two Max you know, drivers there as well. So um, that'll be something that we'll probably do in a future video. We'll kind of take you know, the effects of that, um, that weight track. They kind of say, they, was, they estimate roughly 13 yards of left to right uh, curvature and dispersion on that. But uh, we'll, that'll be a future video that we'll, we'll put together. But all right, Epic Max driver. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Very nice. So Epic Max, you know, it does still have, it's got the same jailbreak uh, structure in it now, the new, the new uh, you know, the new structure that was built by AI. Um, the, the speed frame there and also has, you know, the, the same kind of SS21 flash face from artificial intelligence. So they're really dumping artificial intelligence into these drivers to really find that optimal construction that is best to provide the, the speed necessary. Yeah, I mean, that first shot felt like, you know, it just felt so easy to hit. It felt like it was just mm -hmm. a little higher launch again. You know, when I was 112 feet in the air, we noticed when I was hitting the LS, it was a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. It just seems like it's just a little easier to get up in the air. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. A little bit more spin on that one. And again, this is the, you know, the highest launching, probably the most spinning driver. So yep. should expect that to a degree. Yeah. And keep in mind, it's got, it's got half a degree more loft. Yeah, on that's too. true. Seemed really easy to draw. I was going to say. You got a consistent draw going on, and um, I don't, uh, I mean, I can bring up this dispersion really quick before the I force. I don't want to spoil anything, <laughs> but look at that. I mean, yeah. very consistent, and, uh, you know, big surprise, surprise, that's the most forgiving driver of the three. <laughs> well, let's see if we can leave it to me to ruin that on the yeah, last shot or well, not. But it just seemed like it was, yeah, really kind of easy to draw to kind of same thing kind of every single mm -hmm. time there. Yeah, I didn't mean to put any pressure on you or anything, but... Uh, no, yeah. it, it's, it's not so much that. It's just, it just seems easier to get that club face to kind of tur turn over. Now, yeah, it's got a half a degree more loft on it, but the way the club is designed compared to the LS model, which yeah. looks like it's had a little bit more open, this one here just, just seems so much easier to mm -hmm. hit. Yeah. Last Works. one there. Not quite as much draw to it. Uh, it's still did draw. One, it's still did, but, you know, hey, it's not a little right. I mean, you know what? That's a pretty darn good dispersion for the Epic Max. And we can quickly break down these numbers quickly and we can see highest spinning, Epic Max, highest height, Epic Max. Launch angle is actually right in the middle with the Epic Speed there, but uh, the general trend is the highest launch and probably the most forgiving, the Epic Max. Kind of go down to the Epic Speed, which is probably in between there in terms of the launch angle, the spin, the height, and then the Epic Max LS would be your lowest launching, lowest spinning model. Yeah, you can you can see how the Epic Speed would fit the Bedard, most golfers, mm -hmm. essentially. You can see how numbers across the board. You can see Epic Max is designed for that player that maybe needs a little bit extra health forgiveness. You can see how the Epic Max LS at the other, at the other end of the spectrum is designed for that player that needs maybe help getting that spin rate down, mm -hmm. maybe a little more kind of anti 
anti-left driver yeah. essentially there too. So there's, you know, this is a good, good start to explain the differences between these models. Now keep in mind as a start because you know we want to do future testing. This is just kind right. of an initial introduction to the new Epic drivers. Yeah. Epic Max and Ep Epic Speed. So I think it's going to be a good year for Callaway. Yeah. The uh, first look here is is very positive for the Callaway Epic drivers, uh, and not that that would surprise anybody. Callaway drivers have been awesome. Their uh, you know their investments into artificial intelligence have really paid off. Put together some great products, and it's they've delivered the distance, the forgiveness, um, everything you want out of a driver. And these three models are no different. So if you're interested in one of these three driver models, uh, you can stop into a Second Swing store, talk to our online fitting and support team through SecondSwing.com, uh, or over the phone. And then of course, if you are going to uh, decide to make a purchase, uh, we would love to have you trade in your old driver, and that that way you can take advantage of the highest trade-in values in the industry to get just a little bit of a discount on your new driver. Um, and then of course, you'll have uh, one of these three models fit for your game in your bag to help you lower your scores, hit longer and straighter tee shots down the fairway.